Hi everyone, welcome back to Curriculum Mapping with G Suite. Richard here with a, another video tutorial. In this video I'll be focusing on counting standards. So for those of you who are already inserting standards in a consistent way, uh, the question has come up, is there a way to be able to count how many times those standards appear throughout uh, your curriculum? So and the answer is yes. Um, so I want to demonstrate a technique you can use to uh, count your standards. So uh, to demonstrate that, I've created a fictional scenario here. So I have a, a fruit folder. Um, consider this the unit planner folder. I've got three unit planners, um, all of which contain these fruit standards. So we need to imagine that um, these have been inserted in a consistent way and uh, spread across the entire curriculum. So it's not easy to count specific words in um, Google Docs. However, if you can pull them in to Google Sheets, um, then it becomes very easy. So I have here a, a sheet with a app script attached to it. Um, and I'll just talk a little bit about what it does, and then we'll run through the demonstration. So. Uh, the first thing I did was I, I took all of my standards, so this is all of my fruit, and I've just put them exactly as they are supposed to be worded in column A. And then I set up a count if function in column B. So uh, this will total up in real time as standards are found. And then this is just a simple pie chart. It could be any sort of chart of your choosing, but this will again dynamically change while the, the script is running. Um, and then the last piece is um, I needed a place to put all of these standards into the Google Sheet for counting. So in other words, every time a standard is found, it will append it to this sheet. And then at the very, once the script completes, um, you'll have this function, the count if function will count the number of times that it appears. So. That's basically it. So um, the first step is essentially to define the unit planner folder. So if you have subfolders, um, you can actually reuse this sheet to perform the same sort of search um, on, a, on a different folder as well. So if you wanted to divide up your, uh, divide this up via subject area, you could create a, a subject area folder and then look for those uh, subject specific uh, standards to perform the count. So I've already defined the unit planner folder, but we're just gonna look here, just see we've got an apple and an orange, apples and watermelon, and apples, oranges, and bananas. So when we run the script, this will open a sidebar. And the reason we're doing it this way um, is if, if you have a lot of unit planners in there, we don't want to run into uh, the execution time uh, limit. So what this allows us to do is to keep providing a continuation token um, to theoretically allow the script to kind of go on forever. But this will go on just till it completes iterating through all of the files in our unit planner folder. So that's why we're doing it this way. And when you hit start, um, It'll first clear any totals that are in there previously. And notice here how it is going through in locating these standards and providing us with a visual on where our areas of emphasis have been. So in this case, we're, we're really sharp on the apples, doing okay with the oranges, and not so well with the bananas. And pineapples and watermelon could use a little work. Anyway. So this is sort of a foundational piece of code that um, if you are inserting those standards into your unit planners already and they appear consistently, um, this is something you can use to count them. Thanks for watching. Bye.